Greetings, wanderers. Come inside before night fully descends and you are lost to the mist. Warm yourself by the fire and let us tell you a story of betrayal and revenge. I am Eldritch Echoes, and in this tale I am the ancient, I am the land. I will be your guide as we travel into the mists. With me are those unfortunates born into or trapped by the mists. Doomed adventurers, let the audience know who you are and who you're playing in this tale. Hey everybody, I'm Ambrose. My pronouns are he, him, or they, them. You can find me all over the internet as Am Changeling because it's a secret. You can also find me on Etsy at Thornkind. You can find me right now playing David Dezarovan, whose pronouns are he, him. That me? Or no, it's Devin's turn. Okay. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't tell. Okay. okay. Hi, everybody. I have no monitor to be seen on, uh, and my name is Devin. You can find me online at Sorta of Sullied, and tonight I am playing Fane, the Time Lock. And hello there. My name is Mare. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Oh Hello Mare. And tonight I will be playing um, our Hexblood barbarian named Yaharu. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave. Uh, you can find me online at Twin Dead Tweets on the Bird app. And tonight I am playing Silas Ravenmane, our Dampier fighter. And hello, I am Savannah. You can find me online as Miss Miss Emo Fox. And tonight I will be playing uh, Giselle Orpheline, uh, formerly a blood hunter, now no longer, because I prayed to my god and got rewritten. I blame my brother. It's all my brother's fault. Together, we are bound by the domain of Vorpal Tales, where you can witness dramatic tales of terror and adventure every evening of every day. We bring you chilling tales and epic adventures to amuse and delight. Come see all we have to offer at VorpalTales.com, Twitch.tv slash VorpalTales, and YouTube.com slash C slash VorpalTales. Before we venture into our gaslit tale of terror, please remember that due to adult language and adult situations, this story is rated M for Mature, and we encourage listener discretion. And now... I don't think a recap is necessary because you're being attacked by the house. I didn't save initiative though, so you're going to want to roll. Don't forget to click your tokens. I clicked mine. 17. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that tracks, honestly. <laughs> I, you know, I just, you know, I burnt all my prayers uh, <laughs> to banish a monster. Mm. I mean, that tracks. Burnt prayers. Mm, sounds nice. crispy. I got a 10. Crispy prayers. Crispy, crispy prayers. Be crispy prayers. Ooh, 16, not bad. Okay. Yeah, Haru, you're first. Um, I would like to pick run away for 400, Alex. You may move up to your speed towards the nearest exit. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, wait. How uh, is everyone's fine? I guess right, David. You're you're fine. You're not like hurt and like dying or anything. You're like okay, over there. Like cool. I'm just me. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking of like trying um... to help you just because you know. All right. So anyway, one, nice. five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. There is a swinging set of dual scythe blades pendulum back and forth where that doorway should be. There, twenty-five. Fast. Whoa! When did that happen? Okay, so that was my movement action. Can I try to 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 whack him down with my mace? Like, are they hanging? Are they hanging from chains? Or are they hanging from like wooden? They're coming out of the wall. Picks? Are they hanging from, so they're on wooden sticks and like no, choppy choppy? No, they're coming out of the wall. They're not hanging on anything. The house itself is closing around you. The bricks are crumbling and hardening. You can see the walls thickening and it creaks menacingly as it tries to trap you here forever. Because you 
defeated what it wanted. You cannot break these sides. You can try to move through without getting slashed. That there sounds no like a exit. terrible idea. You turn around and look real quick to see if there's another exit. Not only is there not one, the water is suddenly filling the room rapidly from around the dais. <sighs> Moving at about six inches per round. <sighs> what does it look like up and above us? Like, is it just... The how ceiling. high up is this? How is it okay? Well, this, this, ceiling, this is the room with, like, the 60-foot ceiling. Yeah, so this one's really high up. Yep. Does it look like there's like Except for the spikes descending out of it towards you. Oh, okay. So that that <laughs> that helps a lot cuz yeah, okay. Um and there's no windowy type things nope. like up in the column. Underground. We're several stories underground. Yeah, yeah, 60 feet like with that. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, that is I'll try to. Okay, so these. Okay, all right, all right. I I promise I'm gonna move and do something in a second. I just have some questions. All right. Um, so these sides coming out of the wall, right? Mm -hmm. They're like a hinge or like nope. a a spinny this is bit. Supernatural. <sighs> They're just extending just... from the wall. I just want to see if I could punch like the little center part. Nope. Because I. I mean, okay. you can punch it. Sure, it's gonna cut your hand. E. Okay, fine. I'm gonna. You are free to punch the knife. <sighs> punch the knife. Nothing could go wrong. All right. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna jump. Dexterity gonna... save throw. Tuck, tuck and roll. I did not tuck and roll! No! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, Natural no. one! God, why? Brilliant. Oh my god! You may successfully oh, move yourself god. through one square. I don't like how all you said was that I can move through a square. You take 13 points of slashing damage as the sides tear you open. I'm sorry, how much? 13. David, it's your turn. Oh god. Okay. Ow! Don't do it! Don't do what? <laughs> That's just what she's yelling from the other side. <laughs> the room is rapidly filling with water. Spikes are descending out of the ceiling and they're slashing the sides coming out of the wall as if growing from them, blocking your way. They just splattered Iaharu's blood everywhere. Who yells, I don't like being alive! <laughs> um, I wish I was yeah. back to being unalive! Does that work? <laughs> Oh god, decisions, decisions. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Haru, I believe the house is trying to unalive you again. Fair. Hmm. Um. So is. Mm -hmm. Where am I in correlation with the critter? There is no critter. There's no critter. No, I... For some reason, I thought we had an enemy thing. But you we sent it did. away. We did. We banished it. Excellent. So we're just trying to not die. Ooh! Vortex Warp doesn't cause injury to anybody, does it? No. I can transport people out of here with that spell. Within sight range, I think. On the other side of the sides? You can certainly try. You know, the way that you said that, I really don't. Mm. I just don't like that. <laughs> can I Misty Step with someone in... No. Like, Misty if Step I... is you only. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I don't know if I actually have anything useful in here. I mean, you can miss these step, right? Yeah. There you go. What good does that do everyone else? I mean, does it? Yeah. Does you? Does your body good? I, I believe the word is uh, "every man for themselves." The phrase. 
Uh, okay, well, I guess I will and maybe look for a mechanism that turns all this off. There is not one, because it's coming out of the house. This is not a trap. The house has come alive and wants to kill you for denying its will. There's no button, there's no switch, there's no lever. It's not a machine. How do you kill the house? You, you don't. don't. You escape. You run yeah. for your life. Fine. <laughs> I'm missed you step the fuck out. Okay. Take your move action to get here so you can see. Misty step to there. That's as far as you can go. Okay. That works. Yeah. He'll kind of shout hey. to everyone else. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, he'll just he'll just shout to everyone else. If, if you can, Misty step, do it. You know, something like Bang. that. Uh, okay, Fane is going to start to. Fane is going to start to run. Let's see. Oh, can I control it? Oh, it is. Okay. I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that is as far as I can go with just uh, a regular dash. A regular move. Not that speed. After that, uh, am I allowed to try and dash through there or is an action to avoid the uh, spiky bits? The swinging pendulums of doom. Dash, the problem is there's someone in your way. It's not an action problem, it's can you get enough movement space to do it. Oh yeah, if I were to uh, dash, then I'd be... Um, then uh, I would have enough space to get to here. Right next to David. Uh, yep, dexterity saving throw. Okay. Okay, good. That's not terrible. That's a four. And I roll... 16? 16! You only take 7 points of slashing damage instead of 15 moving through. Woohoo! Put yourself where your range will let you go. Alright. Silas. Uh, how high is the ceiling in there? No, you can't, Devin. I got you. <laughs> I know, well, I got the it. room where you're at, you, you, there you can't crawl across, the, walk across the ceiling. They will still slash you. That's the what sides I was wondering. Are going like... ceiling to floor. Okay, I just, I mean, I will use the ceiling. Yeah, I'll just run through. Deck saving throw. Oh, I take damage. I rolled a six total. Fifteen slashing, Silas. Okay. Giselle, you watch your party get sliced and diced like Christmas mince meat. It's your turn. Ow. You're muted. Muted. Oh, there we go. It was Chris was doing a really good job for a second. <laughs> it, it didn't even recognize my voice. Oh, I'll move there just so. Um. I really hate that this one thing is self only, and I can't. Um. Anyway, so I have how much movement? 30. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, so I'm going to get right behind Ia Haru. Um, and then I'm going to, to wait. Um, because I want her to get through first. She's not moved. Okay. Are you meant to be muted? I am. The thing she used to get into the room has only allowed her to move five feet. That's why she's not deeper in the room like everyone else. Okay. Um, I'm still waiting because the spell I want to cast only lasts one round. Uh, so do you tell her you're waiting for her to get the hell out the way? No. Giselle walks up to the sides and stares at you, Iharu. It's your turn. What do you do? It's either that or do double movement and get sliced and diced, because I'm going to roll like shit. So no. Be careful! Uh, I'm gonna try to 
get over to where the others are. Go for it. You're past the scythe. Okay, good. Uh, one, two. Can I sidestep between them? Mm-hmm. Three, four. Did we know this was here? No, what was here? This. Yep, you this, just chose not this. to go that way. Okay. Uh, uh. So I'm gonna do. What? It, what is it? What does it look like that way? Because I know that's the exit. This is the other. So then four, and then it would be five that direction. I'm just, yeah, Yaharu is just like bleeding, holding her guts and trying to make her way this way. What do the stairs oh, look how, like? Can I investigate? How, What's going how on? How damaged is Yaharu? I'm at 20 hit points out of 33. Okay, not terrible. Not but... bad, but also not great. <laughs> okay. Could Do I, I have see any Eharu without <gasps> chopping off my arm? Wait. Before. Wait. No, Wait. you have to reach to the okay. side. Never mind. Um, 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 I have a question. Just kind of thinking about uh I have a I have a thingy. There's a isn't there a There was a thingy at one point where I can um if I know it's a tr- or is that the other thing? <clears throat> we should just run. We we're just running. I was just we thinking if there was a run. thing that makes it like this is a trap, therefore you can take half Not damage. A trap. Boo. Uh, question. question. Uh, Mayor, how do you only have 33 hit points? I don't know. We're level four, aren't we? And you're a barbarian. Oh, you're dang right. Guess who didn't level up? I'll be okay. She was very distracted. And fine. then forgot all the brand new learning she just had because panic and we'll, we'll be fine. Everything's fine, Trello. I'll fix that while we're doing this. Uh, yeah, so I would like to do that. Um, do I see anything happening in the stair, stair direction? Nope. Or can I hear anything? You can hear the house creaking and groaning as it transforms. Transform. I'm trying to think if there's anything. I have a new. I have a new toy. What's the new toy that I have? It's called. I don't think eerie token would be of any help here. Okay, I think that's that's. Uh, that's good. This, this would be a question for uh, out of character. Could could Iahuru rage her way out? Wouldn't change no. anything. It wouldn't change anything because all the stuff trap. here. It's not a device you can fight. bypass with mechanisms. Well, yeah. Uh, doesn't, doesn't barbarian give uh, resistance? Or is, I'm thinking of. Path no, no, no. Depends I was, on the totem. Yeah, it would okay. have. Uh, well, because this isn't path of the totem. This is. Uh, yeah. It's a different path, uh, but it's eerie token that I have is a hex blood thing. But it's mostly just telepathic message and remote viewing. But I don't have anything on the other side with a telepathic messenger being able to remotely view anything. So that was I, I'm just still getting used to this character, and it doesn't. Yeah, if I had if I had set up rage, I would have had resistance to slashing damage, but I didn't think about that. But we're good. So whoever's turn it was next. Is, so the house is the thing that's trying to kill us. Yep. Is it smart? Does it have mental stats and stuff? You have no idea. All you know is you need to run because it's trying to attack you every way it can. There's spikes coming out of ceilings. It's flooding. Doorways are disappearing as they brick over. If you could say instead of it if you want. You don't feel like no, he... you're going to survive if you do, though. That's not what I'm trying to do! Ah. Your sister just needs to bat, dash through the sides like the rest of you did and hope for the best, or use a spell to get through it. I will be on my next turn. Thanks. Um, While he's escaping, he's going to try and cast Suggestion on the house. It fails. But remove the spell slot. Well, no. dog disagrees with your choice there, DM. He should. Fane. All right. Any 
Let's see where I can run to. Uh, don't open up that. Uh, so it's still stuff coming out of the walls, right? The ceiling, but yeah. Okay, the ceiling. Okay, so 5, 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30. Anything new going up the stairs nope. that I can see? And I will use my dash action now to keep going. To get out from this level. Dash to there. Cool. Which I assume you can see on your phone. You're farther north now. Okay. Okay. Uh, that would be. Is that all my movement to get up those stairs, or can yeah, I go that further? was thirty. Okay. Then that's uh, it. Silas. Yep. Uh, Seven. Right through the wall. You went through the wall. That's not a passageway. You have to go through Iharu. Well, that's <laughs> what I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. So did you far. count hers too? No. Gotta count hers too to move through <laughs> her space. No. <laughs> uh, move your butt. How high is the ceiling? No. So high, the ceiling's about five, six feet now before the stalactites will stab your brain hole. Alright, so one, two, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I dash, which is another 35 feet, so. But you're right there. Ah, it's where'd I get go? through Fane, too. To the north, the where you came okay. from before the super boss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yep, because Devin counts. No, that was seven where I put you. The stairs count. Okay. Took you four to get to Devin, two to get past Devin, and then seven to be in the square you're in. Gotcha. Giselle, cast that spell. Uh, I'm casting Blade Ward to give myself persistence because I have a funny feeling I'm going to roll like most of the rest <laughs> of my party and not so well. Okay. Deck saving throw. Well. You chose wisely. Uh, six slashing damage. So three. That was half. It would have been twelve. Twelve. Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So that will get me there. Yep. Um, dash action. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah, hero. We go in, BB. We just <laughs> one, two. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, you. thank you. Thanks. Oh, oh. Well, you can you can only get that far. There's too many people in your way. Uh, I'm trying to zoom. Go up north. You'll find it. All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was a double move. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Um. Yep. That's uh. These are these are these are my moves. David. 30. David was already at my butt. 45, oh, okay. That's as far as you can get. Because okay. there's people in your way. So now, Fane. Okay, okay. Alright, so, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, Two, three, four, five, six. Get to there. There is my move. Which way I did you go to get there? I, I was going to say, and I jumped over that oh, no. one. From here, which track. way did you go? Do it again for me so I can watch. Okay. It's two squares to move across that trap, remember, because there's no ground there. Oh, okay. Then I'm there. Okay. That's a double move. Yeah, that's double move. Okay. Silas. <laughs> character keep getting in the way. Now nah, I'm just trying to like maneuver my character. You know what? It can be a new window. That works better. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Which way did you go? North or east? Uh I went up by Fane. Okay. 
So that's a movement. Well, uh, right, but did you go across the trap? I or went this way. I went this way. Where I just put you? Yeah. You get to right here when monsters attack you. Because you guys never cleared that. <laughs> Hold on. Why well, I went the way we came. <laughs> That's what I thought we did. So, did I see that guy as I walked up? No, they were hiding and waiting for people to rush into that zone. They still Does are. that count as a trap? It does, but it doesn't help you. <laughs> You're not there. Four whites materialize out of the darkness because they had been waiting for food to come by. Damn whites. Do I keep moving or No, they're they're attacking you. Okay. Sound They've been holding their action for two sessions. <laughs> that was real bad. <laughs> These whites are hitting you with swords. Okay, correction. These whites are trying to hit you with swords. Oh, first one is just a complete klutz, and while you're busy laughing at him, the other one goes right up under the armpit and comes about a millimeter from your heart with a natural 20. Oof. Uh, two hits. For one of them, I need you to make a constitution saving throw as you feel your life essence drain through the sword and into the creature. Ugh, a five. I rolled a nat one. Okay, ten points of necrotic damage. And for the hit that, uh, bypassed your uh, armor. Five of those hit points are permanently gone until you can take a long rest. Like they won't come back with a healing spell. Right. right. So how much damage total? Ten necrotic. Ten necrotic, okay. Uh... You see more of them behind these two move up. Yep. I'm going to keep moving. Hope for the best. Uh, yeah. And attack of opportunity. Yep. Five more necrotic damage. Alright. And then I will keep moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm sticking to the wall because I know that I believe there were some sort of traps around. Uh, you skipped that when you went right instead of north. Okay. Just right, that's where you end up. Okay. So, 510 will get me to the top of those stairs, and then you need to move me. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I assume you're not going to go where the whites are? <laughs> no. 60, 65, 60. Put you right on the other side of where the hole in the ground is. Oh, yes, that lovely hole. Yes. Okay. Now it's the white's actual turn. That's the end of the round. Uh, oh, is there, like, a defensive... No, that was a dash. I don't have any more actions or anything. Bane. They sense weak, lonely target away from all of his friends. Take ten necrotic and make two constitution saving throws. <laughs> and the kimchi challenge pool grows. Oh, I need to spend points on that. For those who don't know, the Kimchi Challenge is for our Sunday Mage game. If it reaches 100,000, Supervillain Duane will appear as a marauder and attack the party. Apotropy as a man gone rogue. Alright, one second. Uh, one of those... Uh, Times two con saves. 17 yep. and a 12. Okay, five of those points will not return on healing until you take a long rest of the 10 you took. Giselle. Mm-hmm. They do not get through your furious defense. 
I don't have a furious defense. It's called fluffily saying they missed, because saying they missed oh. is boring. <laughs> I was just like, I have a pretty shitty AC, actually. Yehuru, you're apparently still terrified by the small child inside of you and just stand there while it cuts you very deeply. Take 10 necrotic and make a uh, constitution saving throw. I don't want to. I mean, I'm going. So 10 necrotic? Yep. You got hit twice. Giselle got hit not at all. Fane got hit twice. Oh, uh, you said that was all necrotic, right? Yep. Uh, do, you mark that, do you mark that somewhere in particular, like the type no, of damage just, you take? Okay. It just tells you if you have resistances. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, I don't. I'm not resistant to necrotic anymore. You were not. Oh, that's right. Dang it. Okay. Um, ouchies, first of all. And uh, is it my turn now with that? No? You were muted, Tyler. You have to make constitution saving throws, what you have to do. Uh, oh, 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 right. So two of them? Just one. Oh, just one. Okay. Eleven? Five, the five of that damage will not come back until you take a long rest, even if you're healed. Okay. Now it's your turn. However... Okay, go. All this noise has attracted other things that were not awakened by your quiet movements before. And this hungry bird goes after Silas. Comes out of the larder covered in rotten food. Ew. I think Fane should send his bird to fight that bird. Well, I call it a bird, but it's like a Cthulhu monster with a beak. It's like a tentacle mm -hmm. with a beak. I appreciate that I can just see what's going on because I'm watching the Twitch. I was trying to watch the Twitch, but it would eat my computer, and I don't want that to happen. But, you know, I have so many windows open, so it's a little Ooh, ridiculous. Where did come from? If Nevermore heard you say that, he would just have said, Hell no! Hell no! <laughs> Tentacles lash around you, uh, Silas, but uh. you duck and weave, and they do not grab a hold. Haru, you can act now. Okay, um, I'm going to rage. Okay, this is, seems wise. This is a baddie in front of me? Yes, and there's an undead warrior in armor with a sword that drains your life. Okay, yeah, so with that, I'm going to uh, rage, and then um, with my scimitar, uh, I'm going to also have I'm going to hit it with my scimitar using Divine Fury as well. Trying to inflict some radiant damage on it. We'll, we'll see what happens. World hit. Please. 18 to hit. 18 is a hit. All right. And that is a total of 15 damage. Seven of which are... Uh, uh, radiant. So eight slashing and seven radiant. Eight points. Where are you there? There. No, oh, it's already on the token. You slash into it. The radiant damage does hurt it, but it doesn't hurt it any more than the sword does. It's not. It is preventing. Oops. It is preventing it from. Ignoring the damage, though. Defeat. Run, 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 run. It's a problem with that. It's two monsters no. in your way. No. <laughs> Misty step past the monsters. Yeah, the Misty step requires line of sight, which requires you to move in front of the monster. Yes, you can. But then I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw to maintain concentration while it swings its sword at you. Uh, okay. Eleven? You succeed. You want to go all the way to the end of the hallway, or do you want to stop where it turns? Because you can't turn with the spell. 
You can stop here. Or you can go all the way to here. Uh, show me again, because the character sheet was uh, in Stop way. here. Or you can go all the way to here. Is that the direction we are going? You don't know. You can't see anyone else. Shit. <laughs> um, just, just there, in that crux. Okay. You've chosen wisely. Fane! Huh! Alright, so, uh, Fane is going to uh, allow the attack of opportunity from that white down there. Huh? No dice, carry on. Uh, Fane is then going to use bonus action for uh, his shadow step, which doesn't say it needs anything except to an unoccupied space within 30 feet of me. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So miss your shadow step up to here. And mm -hmm. uh, use the remaining move actions to get. Uh, that was a uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to mm -hmm. here. And then since I didn't actually use my attack or action action, right, or that yeah, dash, 5, 10, 15, 20. Why are you not letting me go for uh, that? That's no way. Uh, wait, no. Is Shadow was, Step uh, a bonus? It's a bonus. Bonus. Hold on. It was the. Uh... Now I don't remember which way we went to get free. So yeah. <laughs> just... What was I? I was at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 here, I believe. Let me double check that because it was 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to there. There we go. Panic will do that to you, make you forget which way you're going. Mm. Silas. Yep. Uh, I will use my last spell slot to cast sleep on this thing. Uh, oh, the one behind you. Okay. Yeah, the one that that weird. Oh god, did I really pass thing? the door? Uh, Twenty nine hit I points did. of creatures. See. Uh, how many hit points does it affect? 29. It does not work on the creature because it's a full health. 29. Oh, wait. I lied. This thing is weak. It does work. It falls asleep. Yeah, it's, a, it's a grip. It should fall asleep, I think. I hope. Ah! Sleep, and then I run. <laughs> uh, those are stairs right there. Those are. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to follow one, two, no, I'm going to take the stairs. You took the stairs to get down here. Yes, you did. You one, took the super two. secret spiral staircase. Yeah. Uh, can I close it behind me? No. Okay, then I go. not have a door. That was only 10 feet of movement to get in the was, stairs. But you're on a different map now. Yeah. I just don't know. Correct. How much more movement I need. We'll deal with that if it comes back around to you and you're still the only one on the other map. Okay. Giselle. Muted. I am muted. I am going to cast Insightful Maneuver against the white that is right beside me. I'm going to make it vulnerable to slashing. Okay. Um, and going to bring down my greatsword. 12 to hit. Uh, I doubt it, but I'll check. <laughs> thing has armor, I'm gonna guess no. Let's see. If anybody wants to be nice to me in the chat! <laughs> no, but real close. Uh, do I have an inspiration to burn? I don't think so. <sighs> That's fine. A shween a miss. Yeah, hurry. Yes. Um, I would like to tr try to like parkour around this thing. You can move um, through space, but there's another one in front in front of Giselle. Okay, I I want to 
parkour around these guys. Best you could do is get to here. That works for me. The other one gets a free me. shot on you. What's your armor class? Uh, my my AC is 15. It's I really wish that I had leveled up. Yay! Okay, cool. Um, and does that give us an attack of opportunity on this guy too for later? He got one We're on flanking. you. You don't get one on him. Oh, okay, but I'm uh, okay. Oh no, I was just you, like... you don't flank from angles. You have to be the opposite side, which would put uh, you between the other okay. two, giving them opportunity attacks. Wait, against can you. I? Would I be able to? Oh, wait, no. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure because I saw my guy move. I didn't see, so I could have been there or there. If you and go, I can't if you go between them, they have advantage on you. Oh, let's not do that. I don't have enough of that to happen with that. So that guy gets an attack on me, huh? He did and missed. So what do you? And missed. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to just continue raging and smacking them. That's what I'm. The, them's, them's the plans. Uh, all of my stuff's just one d six. Okay, great. Whatever. Uh, 21 to hit with my scimitar. Success. All right, that's uh four. There's a 14 total damage on the thing, four of which are uh, radiant. What was the total? 14. Okay. You cut it real good, but it doesn't fall yet. <gasps> David. Yeah. Um. Run, 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 run. Which sure, direction? Where do you want to run to? Towards the monsters? Or uh, deeper into the area you've never explored? Oh God. Ambrose, question: Where did everybody else go? North, towards the monsters. Well, away from <laughs> the monsters for them, but not for you. There is nowhere for you I to mean, go where there are not monsters at the moment. There's monsters oh. north, there's monsters west, and there's monsters in the unexplored zone. I will <laughs> go where everyone else is going. Okay. Best you could do is get to there. One of them gets a free strike with your armor, cl your armor class. Oh boy, let's find out. Loading sheet, loading sheet. 13. Okay. You take five necrotic damage, make a constitution saving throw. 16. It does not drain your life. Holy shit. You want to move again? That was one move action. Oh, I can move again? Mm -hmm. Yes, let us run. Oh, it gets another free attack. God damn it. It's all for the oldest trick in the book. And you can't make it any farther than that unless you want to step on the sleeping tentacle monster with the beak. No, no, I don't want to step on the sleeping tentacle monster with the beak. Faint! Faint is going to realize... Wait, I don't <laughs> remember this spot. You actually did explore this, but it's definitely not the way out. No, no, we, we didn't explore this because we came straight down from the staircase. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can make it all the way to the sleeping tentacle monster. Yes. You gonna dash again? That, that was my double oh, move. okay. Silas. Hold on. Yes. I have no map. The void. You're alone in the house now. What could go wrong? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I, I don't know what you're talking about. All my friends are here. <laughs> Your full movement. Well, was there was an exit? Was there an exit before the highest one? You did state that there was a first floor door. Well, there is. I'm moving all the one out of the map. Uh, yeah. All the people off the map that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Can I get out at the first floor? That's the third floor. You just moved yourself to. No, that's Hold the first floor. Right. Oh, you right. went south. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, it takes you to here, but you don't see a way out. You can make a perception check. Sweet. Uh, I try that. Do it. 
I, I will as soon as I find my character sheet. I have so many windows open right now. Perception. Perception. 18? 18. You don't see it. Oh, son of a bitch. I can't However, move much better than that. Rats start coming out of the walls above you and below you. The walls are rotten and falling apart, and the rats are just pouring out of them, chewing their way through and chewing their way across you. Take five slashing. Piercing. Sorry. I'm about to die. Yes, you're poisoned now, too. Can I attack the rats? Uh, uh yes. We'll say that perception check was a reaction. Okay. Uh, I... I... Do so. And... It... Oh, ooh, nine. That misses. You slash your way through the rats, killing a few here and there, but there are just so many. Well, no, my I, I bite the rat. I grab rats <laughs> and bite eat the them. Rat. Yeah, because I can drain their blood to get hit points back. You can. I am a vampire. You can. You get one hit point back because it's Sweet. a swarm. It's better than no hit points. <laughs> that is correct. Giselle. I, uh, 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 ah, uh. So, I know the way we came in. I was here, and then we turned this way. Yep. But everyone else went down that way? No. Uh, only, they went through there and woke up monsters, but they ended up going north from there. Oh. It goes the same way. Okay, then I would like to attempt a shove to the white in front of me to clear a path for Ia Haru to be able to follow behind me. Make an athletics check. Athletics. <laughs> Can I have advantage? <laughs> no. 13. She it rolled an 18. Advantage. It braces itself. She should have had advantage because I just whacked him up real good. That's not how that works. <laughs> That's not how that works. Nope. You still have a move action, though. <sighs> Are you going to abandon her to her fate? No. That will be the end of my turn because Giselle is not leaving someone behind. What about that cantrip that gives it vulnerability? It would still count for the rest of the turn. Yes, but move action. That... No, that Are spells you... a move action? I thought it was a bonus action. Uh, no, it's... Oh, crap. Where did it go? Uh, insightful maneuver. Oh, it's a bonus action. Uh, Ia Haru uses a scimitar. Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, I use insightful maneuver for the second time uh, to make it vulnerable against slashing, and it will last um, till your next turn. Yes. Yeah, hero, it's your turn next. You have advantage on the attack. I'm gonna give it that smack. I'm gonna do it again. I'm angry, so we're gonna keep having this thing happen. All right, we'll do it. What is the thing that I get that that she just did? You have advantage. Roll the hit. Oh, okay. Oh. Beep. 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 I made it vulnerable to your attacks, so technically your damage does more. Okay, sweet. So that's 25 to hit. That's, um, hit. that's 17 damage, and then whatever bonus happens to this, what I need to add to it? Is it advantage to hit, or is it extra damage? What? It's extra. It's oh? It makes it vulnerable to slashing. Okay. So it has a, now a vulnerability. How much damage? Uh, 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 that's 13 slashing plus 4, so that's 17 total. That one dies. Yee. Uh, Does Ia yeah. Harusa have a move action? Um, yep. 
then Yahuru should move. Yeah, Yahuru is going to move, uh, but is also going to yell for David just because Yahuru saw David yump in a different direction. Yump in a different direction. Yeah, and so it's just kind of like, uh, okay. <laughs> so, yep. Okay, so that's one. So I can get up to here. You can, uh, 30. So, Your yeah. movement is 30, right? Yes. Well, here's then the yes. problem. To move through Giselle is two, to move through the square above Giselle is two. Oh, shit. What do you mean? Because it's a pit. There was a pit in the floor. Oh, that's right, that's right. The okay, best you so can this do is. is... Get here. Okay. I forgot about the pit. Ooh. And then. Fine. <laughs> remaining monsters move. Yep. Ah! They then have what? no luck with Giselle. Natural 20 on Iaharu. God dang it! Uh, five necrotic Iaharu, make a con saving throw. Shit. And she's not five feet because of that stupid pit. Uh, that and make a con saving throw? Yep. 13? That's enough. Uh. David, five necrotic, make a con saving throw. I know. <laughs> I know what I should have done as my final action when yeah. I'm an idiot. 14. You succeed. You only take the five necrotic. <laughs> Voodoo Arcade, you were there. If we hit 100k, then you get Marauder Duane in your mage game. Uh, the Grick is not awake yet, because that's magical. David! Yes. You can push your way past the monster and past Fane and head to the stairs if you want. I would prefer to misty step past them. You can, but then you're going to go right past the exit because you can't turn a corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I will run. The attack of opportunity fails, which means you may get to the stairs and run out of movement. Oh, however, thank freaking goodness. However, you can make a double move. I don't trust that. Now, you, you, you fooled me once, and I will not be fooled again. So you're just going to block the exit? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I will exit. How oh, will the exit be? You get stuck in the rats. Unless you're going to try to climb past Silas and go up to the attic. He's the first floor trying to find a secret exit while rats pour out of the walls on top of him. No. Okay. You take three slashing and piercing from rat teeth. Motherfucker. This is better and better, right? Fane! Uh, so, uh, Fane is going to use this wonderful move to uh, get the hell out of this area, past the uh, Sleeping Beauty, uh, up the stairs, and I'm going to cast a spell on our wonderful rogue character here, uh, Wind Up. It's a second level spell, and he gets advantage on basically all mental uh, checks, so for searching. And he also gets to be able to search as a bonus action, so if he wants to double search because he somehow manages to not find it the first time, he can search some more. I'm making because a, search, a, a, a reaction, but the rest is fine. Okay, so uh, he now has advantage on his uh, next check for uh, the door. But the question is, are you stopping there or are you going to head to the attic? Oh, no, I'm stopping... Uh, Three rat teeth damage. That's fine. Silas, make that check. Uh, I'm going to move out of the rats. So you're going to head up? Yeah, I head up enough that I'm out of the rats. That would require exiting this area. Okay. Basically, I tried giving you the best shot to be able to exit the first floor. I thought it was you... Did you cast it on you or no, me? No, on you. Oh, I, oh, I thought you cast it on you. 
God no. Then, oh yeah, then I'll I'll do a perception check again. Roll it. With advantage. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. I mean, literally, I only have a bonus of two. Okay. Giselle. The bonus action, I am casting a predestination on Ia Haru. Ia Haru, um, you get a 1d4 to use as you like on either an ability check, attack rolls, or saving throw. Um, it's kind of like Bardic Inspiration, but... Hey. So plus one d4 on which yeah. things on either an ability check. Uh, or what? Ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Ooh, that's nice to know. I'm uh, gonna need to save. Uh, um, and then I am going to. And that was it, my bonus action to assign that to Ia Haru, and then I am going to just attempt to hit this wait 20 to hit yep 14 slashing okay it does hurt it Ia Haru. okay so she just she just hit that one. I'm going to hit this guy here with my stuff. All right. Oh, wait. No, wait. Before I do that, before I do that, can I down my potion of spicy real quick? <laughs> yep, you sure can. That's a reaction or a bonus action. Sorry. That's a bonus action. Okay. Yes. Um, can have that. It says one hit die per day, so I'm just going to go down to one of those. So or no, 12. two. Of you would get 12 plus con and hit points back. So I, I'm just counting up how many I've used. I haven't used any of mine yet, yay. And then so I get what back? 12 plus your con bonus. I'll take that. Okay, because that's going to be 17 points back. That gets me back up to 20 instead of 5. Lights um, are undead, huh? Huh? Yep, they are. Oh. A duck. This is what happens when I change classes in the middle of a session. Right, it's okay. Yeah, no, I my radiant damage doesn't what I thought that was gonna do to them, so there's that. Uh, yeah, they're not resistant to it, but they're also not weak to it. Okay. I thought so one of the other things we had was like good okay, either way, yeah, I'm, I'm in, just gonna in keep addition, not all undead are automatically radiant vulnerable in specific ones. Okay. Alright. Uh and so this guy hasn't been hit at all yet? By anybody else? Correct. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so I can add the one d4 to my attack if that if it hits. Because we're gonna do this thing again. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. All right. Uh, I'm just I'm like nervous to click it. Let me make sure it's on the right thing. And do I still have advantage on that, or do I not oh, have advantage? That's gone. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, why can't I click it? Uh, uh, let me click the thingy. It's making me try to edit it. I don't want to edit it. I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh oh. I lost something somewhere, but I don't know what's happening. Why can't I click my. I, I'm. Help! <laughs> what do you need? I, I think I clicked something where it was like I was editing a thing, and now I can't. I don't know how to get it. What are you the... trying to click? I'm trying to click the symmetry. Oh, wait. I'm hitting the wrong spot. Never mind. I'm the whole wrong different part of the. I'm just going to click I, that. You rolled a 20. Yeah, I did. Well, I was clicking the actual item, like a ding dong, and that's what I was doing. So, yeah, 20. That's 16. So, 17. And then I'm going to add that 1d4. I'm just going to do a meat space die so I don't have to keep fighting with uh roll 20 that's a four 21 e that's a good hit david make that check again what do you mean that's a good hit like do i get any oh, more geez. from that or it's not dead 
Oh. Wait, no, you're not the one making the checks, but you should make a check anyways. What'd you get? Seven. You're too busy trying to pull that rat off your earlobe. You all take three more teeth damage. You, Everyone you who's in con this save, swirly. David. Hey, what check was I supposed to do? I thought Perception. it was con. Oh, oh, you're trying to find the door. You all gonna take three biting no matter what happens. All three of you that are Ooh, 22. The stairs. Hey, you find it! It was a 19. Poor Silas. Okay. Uh. But you all take three slashing teeth damage as you all yeah, fall out on the first floor with rats. Come here, little rat buddies. There we go. Okay. Uh, David, you still have a move action if you want to take it. Um. Is drinking the hot sauce of healing a move action, or is that a bonus action? That's a bonus action, but you could do it as a move action. Uh, I'm gonna do it as a bonus action and then run, 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 run. run. And then how much does that heal again? <laughs> For you, uh, six plus your con modifier. Six plus con. Eight total. Okay. There are rats everywhere. However, because the rat swarm is so big, you can get all the way to here without an attack of opportunity. But instead of a door, there are scythes, and all the windows are bricked over. Some chunky rats. What rat there? <laughs> there are a lot of rats pouring out of that hole. Yes. Wax. Yeah, them's big. Chunky rat swarms is what I was trying to say. Boys. Chunky wet swarms. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Swarms. <laughs> That's how it was coming out of my a mouth. A rat swarm. <laughs> oh goodness. <sighs> They're dicky rat swarms. Oh god, dicky rat swarms. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. <laughs> so, David, are you going to go through the sides or are you going to look at him? Oh, I thought he was uh, running. You are. It's as far as you can get without having to go through sides. That's the way out. There are no more doorways, only sides. There are no more windows, only brick walls. There are no more doorways, only sides. Yep. There is no Dana, only tool. You get it. Um, you have no me. choice. You can either let someone else go through first, or you can sit and stare at him, hoping to find a way through. Hint, this is going to take a long time. Me, misty step. Okay. Good choice. Because that will take you through both doorways. Out of the house. One person has escaped. Fane. <laughs> Thane is going to uh, remove himself from the rat swarm areas. You will take an attack of opportunity. That was fine. Well, there's no roll. Three piercing teeth damage. Okay, three more damage. And then, uh, what's my roll to get through the uh, sides again? Dex? Dex saving throw for both sets because there's two doorways. 18. 18's good. Roll again. That that was not good. But that was not a. It was a failure. And that's okay. Six the first time. Fifteen the second. Uh, can I, uh, in the middle of that, use one of my hot sauces? Uh, no, because that's a move action. You could, but then you can't actually go through the second one because you stopped. That's fair. Okay. Why, will it take you out before you get out? Oh, yes. Well, then hopefully David decides to pour that hot sauce down your mouth. David, Vane comes stumbling out with his arm mostly dislodged, just kind of looks at you, drops his hot sauce, and falls on his face. Hot sauce time. I sauce his face. You can when it's your next turn. Uh, I sauce his face. Silas. Yep. Uh, I am going to drink hot sauce. Okay. 
how many? What does that heal? Hit die plus con modifier. All right, roll. so twelve. So twelve. For me. Actually, I just realized I can do it in the middle of it. I have an extra ability. One, two. You can do that then. It's fine. Same difference either way. Five. Okay. Six. Seven. I go to there. I have to make a one save or two. I'm not sure where the blades are. Lost my button. Uh, right here, doorway. Right here, doorway. Two sets. All right, so I get through one and have to before I have to stop. Okay. Uh, Sixteen on the save. Sixteen will have it for six. All right. And then I have to stop there because I'm worried that if I fail that save, I'm gonna die. Seems wise, Giselle. With with my class change, I have something that's probably actually pretty fucking useful. I have turn undead. Yes, you do. I forgot about that too till just now, or I reminded you. Uh, <laughs> so the two whites are within thirty feet of me. <laughs> Makes so sense both that of them Giselle, though would be like, oh right, I can do new things. <laughs> um, so they need to make wisdom saving throws. Okay. What's your DC? 14. Same as your spell. 15. Fifth, Double failures. 15. Cool. And anything else that might be within 30 feet of us that I not don't know about? Uh, <clears throat> that would actually matter if you were going south, but you're not, so... Okay. Luckily, they hadn't taken their action yet, so they're just going to go as far away from you as they can. Okay, path is clear. Okay, so that was a turn. Yes. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You should have two channel divinities, so you could do it one more time if you needed to. Um, I will double check that. You but also thank have you. two other cool powers you can use with channel divinity. Those are the ones that I added to your sheet to say channel divinity colon. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, Iaharu. You could run now. Running. And we're running. running. One second. Uh, yeah. Now I'm letting them know that right now, too. Yeah. Sorry, we just got a tornado warning where we are. Warning. Okay. Yep. Not sure. They just skipped the watch. But uh, I'm going to I'm gonna run. Uh, uh, oh, okay. All right. That's where I'm running. I'll, I'll, all right. I'll hit it. <laughs> That was, was that double, where I was? That was a double it, move, so... That was a double move? Okay, great. Is that one of the ones that was affected? Nope, it wasn't within 30 of your original position. Okay. Wait, and that's the only direction we could... It's like, we know where we're that's going now? That's the way out, yeah. That's yes, the way out, okay, great. Out. Sorry, I'm just, like, startled, because, like, thank goodness everything was on mute over here uh, when that happened. Uh, yeah. You need to go um, hide in your tub? Uh, we're going to sort that out once I pull the radar up in a hot second, but, okay. um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the schmacky schmacky for I get like drigged. Uh, that's 27 to hit. Yes. All right, uh, and that's going to be uh, 16 damage, with seven being gradient. Okay. And nine being slashing, but he's not affected by the special Apparently, slashing power. Apparently, Twin Dad gave you his weather. <laughs> I sent the weather to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I yeah, like I said, I'm gonna look at the radar. Sorry, it just startled me because I was just like Jimmy Christmas. So. Yeah, I will. Um, that is that is my move. Okay. And I trust someone else uh, in case I have to disappear. Uh, I got you, babe. To do things. I got you, wife. David, you are out of initiative. Bane, you are out of initiative. Silas. Yes. Oh, oh wait, I wanted to pour sauce down. Uh, uh, he, he figured out he could have done it himself. Oh. Pour some saucy on him. Yeah, but of course he could. All right, I am also going to pour some more sauce. Okay. On myself. I get some of it. I make sure to get some of it in my mouth, though. Get sauced. And then, uh, yeah, like, I'm a, I'm a B-dubs. I get sauced. And then I rush. One last deck saving throw. I will roll a six. 
I have a plus four here. <laughs> well, that time you only took five. The dice are finally in your favor. Thank goodness. And can I have a cover, please? Ah, uh, one second. Which one is you? Yep, you're good. Thank you. Giselle. Uh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are whites considered magical? Like, are their attacks magical? No. Cool. Then, um, I'm going to pop my other channel divinity, which is Shield of Ezra. And oh. as a zealot, I'm now immune to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Okay. And then I did a move action to get where you were at, so... Okay. Roll for Iaharu to hit it. You have advantage from flanking. Okie dokie. Let me open Iaharu's character sheet. I think I should cover myself too so that all they can do is stare at you too because all the others are camp covers. Uh, 21 wow. to hit. <laughs> That's a hit. Uh, uh, do I need to split up the no, uh, damage? Just give me the total. 17. Not dead, but nearly. Yeah. Now it's your turn again, because everyone else is out of the house. Oh, fun. Um, I I guess uh, so. The, the bird parrot parrot worm is sleeping. Yeah. Cool. Um, then I'm gonna hit the white. Fuck. Well, that's not gonna. You have hit. An advantage because you're flanking. Doesn't matter. I rolled the my highest as a twelve. Nope, it's turn. No love, yeah, Haru. Yeah, Haru. Fifteen to hit. No, back to you. <laughs> Nineteen to hit. Yes. <laughs> Nine slashing. Is dead. Run away. Okay. I am back. So, I need you that, and. Uh, that's not the right way. I need you and uh, Iharu to make your scythe saving throws or drink potions or whatever you're going to do before you escape the house. Um, I'm going to cat. I'm currently immune um, for a couple of rounds. Um, so I'm not worried about myself. Um, however, what can I do? Um, I'm going to throw another Kismet die at Iaharu to add a d4 to their saving throws. Oh, no. God, why? Uh, no, I'm going to throw... <laughs> I need to throw healing spells at Iaharu. They're so damaged. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh... I feel like we need, like, oops, all cleric party. <laughs> uh, I'm going to touch Iaharu with Cure Wounds. That's a d8 Plus. Thanks, homie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm like playing both of us right now. No, no, like... you're you're my hero. <laughs> um, okay, so that's uh, a D eight plus. What did I just roll? Uh, five. So that's five plus my wisdom modifier. So five plus four. That's nine. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, and then Iaharu can go through with... It's a dexterity saving throw, right? Yep. Twice. Okay, well, 15. Okay. Three damage from the first set. Okay. One, two, Ooh. three. Don't fail the second one. Eighteen. Good. You only okay. take nine damage. Oh, if I wouldn't have healed her, she would be dead. Imagine me dying off screen. <laughs> Eleven. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, minus nine. That's two. Yeah, you're down to two hit points, my babe. <laughs> it's okay if I die off screen. Yeah, no, we're still definitely stumbles. within it. Uh, we just. I'm trying to look at the radar to see where it is. Okie dokie. Okay, so Iaharu is out of the house, safe and sound. Several things happen when you leave the house. The first thing is, it collapses into ash. 
So the whole house just creaks and moans and bends and twists and collapses into wood that then just disintegrates and rots before your eyes. The second thing is, everything you took out of the house, except the stuff that Giselle was given by her new goddess, also rots and collapses to ash. All the loot, all the money, everything except the deed. Uh, I don't have my gems anymore. Oh, and the magic items you got out of that one chest, the scrolls and whatnot, those survive. And you just kind of sit there gasping, looking at the house. It's what passes for dawn here approaches where the sky becomes gray instead of black. What new stuff did I get for my goddess? Your holy symbol. Oh, okay. It's made out of platinum and worth like a thousand gold pieces. <sighs> oh, okay. Nice. That's fine. Unless it's worth it. You still I'm haven't even put the children to rest. Bloodied and battered. Ooh. Um. Um. Okay. Not like just singular of focus. I think uh, Giselle's going to ask for the bones from. I think Fane was carrying them. Yes, yes, I was. And you wouldn't okay. let me put them to rest earlier. I wouldn't. Um, she asks for their bones. Fane's debating. Where are you so going to now, do with the bones, Fane? So now it's important for them to be put to rest after I've carried them out of this place. All right, fine. Here you go. Thank you. Awesome. And Giselle just starts walking to outside of town looking for a peaceful place, which is going to be very hard to find in Barovia, but she's going to try to find one. Um... That seems like a good place to take our mid-show break. So don't go anywhere, audience. We'll be back in 10 or 15 minutes.
thumb that I just broke there. <laughs> and we've returned. Glorious. So. The sun has, has risen as much as it rises here. Where would you like to go and what would you like to do? Um kind of just not thinking about it Giselle like if she passes a house and sees like a shovel on the side of the house she's grabbing it and just walking out of town to just find some place nice um, like maybe just like a couple of trees gathered together but just somewhere that's like some these children can find rest here and not be oh. reminded of everything that's happened. Should we find a cemetery? Giselle? Giselle hasn't said anything. Oh, I know. That's why I'm like, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Giselle? What? Perhaps, um, is there a town cemetery? I assume you're trying to bury these children? Perhaps. Perhaps the cemetery, or perhaps you're burying them. I am burying them. Is there a cemetery in sight within the city? Oh, yeah, there's one up there with a giant mausoleum, huh? To the north, west. Yep, there is a cemetery in Barovia. She just kind of sighs, and then um, turns to whatever direction the cemetery is in. Okay. Still, she still picks up a spade from a random house. Um. When you make your way there, you need to do a slight retcon because of our wish spells transformation. The letter I gave you would have been from the original campaign, the one you found in the dead body. The one you actually have is slightly altered. What? When you first came to Barovia, you found a letter on a dead body. Yes. It's not an accurate letter because that's the original campaign letter. Okay. So here's the letter you have. Hail thee. Of might and valor, I, the Burgomaster of Barovia, send you honor with despair. My chosen son, sweet Ismark Kolyana, has been threatened by a vampire. He is but a child, and I cannot lose him. For over 400 years, this creature has tormented, tortured, and even drained my people. Now, my dear Ismark has been marked for death by this vile beast. The Countess has become too powerful to conquer. So I say to you, give us up for dead and encircle this land with the symbols of good. Let those of holy might call upon their power the devil may be contained within the walls of weeping Barovia. Leave our sorrows to our graves and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we are all departed for a better life. Kalyana Indirovich, Burgomaster. So you took away my sexy, steamy three-way lesbian triangle? What makes you think that? Because that's a boy's name. It is. Come lay down, Pickaboo. Go. Go. Thank you. Okay. Trying to get you a copy of the letter. Hold on. Options are limited. Here we go. You make your way to the cemetery. There is a church outside of the cemetery. 
describe that church to you momentarily. Ah. There we go. Coming to the Discord. Uh, the church, even from the outside, you can tell, is clearly in disarray. There doesn't seem to be anyone here attending service, but you know. You don't remember what day it is, but you don't think it's church service day. Uh, the building itself is in uh, traditional Barovian style for its time. All dark wood. Sharp angles. Big church, big bell tower on the top. Chimney stack, holes in the roof, light shining through. No one comes out to greet you or intercept you or in any other way stop you from randomly burying body, apparently. For the nicest section of the cemetery. <laughs> uh, it's all pretty much the same. The cemetery itself is well tended, just the church is kind of a hot mess. Uh, there is a, the, the north and the northwest section does seem to have more uh, crypts, which would indicate nicer, bigger families. Picture of the churches in the Discord. Uh, yeah. So it does look like a hot mess. It looks also like it's been torn into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the map you're seeing now, uh, northwest corner is probably the nicest. Hmm. Okay. He just kind of aimlessly wanders <laughs> to the back with a shovel and a bag of bones. Okay. David is following closely along. <clears throat> you find you... what you think might be a good spot. Giselle, are you alright? I'm just tired. Hmm. I mean, technically, she's possessed. No, technically, Fane is. I pushed the child out when I was going to die. Ah, oh, right. <clears throat> um, she starts digging a six foot deep hole. Strength saving throw. David's gonna help. <laughs> Strength saving throw, David. Strength is no longer a trained saving throw, so... Davide a... somehow did well, better than me. I don't know <laughs> how, because... I do! What were, what, what were your two totals? David 12. rolled a 12. I rolled a 5. Okay. It takes much longer than you would think. The ground and the slate, it's as if the ground itself is resisting you telling you no, not here. But you persist anyways. Well, no, if I get a feeling of no, not here, I'm going to listen. Okay. David is oblivious and keeps digging. Unless Giselle says it's for him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why this is so hard. Because they don't want them. Why not? This is a cemetery. I don't question it. I just feel it. You sure it is not because you are tired? Yes, I'm sure. She 
she throws back her dirt. Okay. And, um... There's nothing really that I could do to, like, sense where the children should be. You could, yes. Uh, make an insight check. Okay. And I swear to goodness, if you tell me that house, I'm going to throw something at you. Mm. 18. They need to be buried with the rest of their family, which is probably one of these crypts. If they're local to Barovia. Um, I start taking peeks uh, at the crypts. All right. See if, uh, and then she lets Silas and David and Fane know. Um, look for their family name. Perhaps there's a crypt here in the cemetery and not just in the basement of the house. Everyone involved who wishes to search can roll perception. Do we know their family name? Yeah, because you have the deed. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. Be very grumpy as he looks back at the house. Because... <laughs> no. I rolled an eight. Ooh. I also rolled an eight. Apparently, Giselle has no interest in finding anything. <laughs> I rolled a seven. <laughs> and I have a plus four for, for my oh, perception. God. Someone also... can roll for Iaharu. I'll roll. I have her hair sheet. Oh. Yeah, Rue's gonna get the big number. Watch. Right. Nope. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, Haru rolled a natural one. Glorious. <laughs> On point for her today. Yeah. All right, and I rolled a a natural one. I'm staring at the house. <laughs> You spend the entire morning trying to dig a grave and trying to find a grave with no luck. <laughs> it occurs to you after a while, maybe we should just go in there and ask. <laughs> you don't have to. You could do an afternoon check. Uh, no, she'll go into yeah, the Yeah, I'll go. I was going to say, if, yeah, I'll go in and ask. Okay. As well. She leaves the shovel outside the back door. She's not okay. walking around to the front. And then she'll just, like, waltz in. Walks in with the shovel, threateningly. Where's the goddamn crypt? Okay, hold on. Where's the crypt? No. I said I'd leave it outside. So the castle... Uh, the Sorry, the castle. The church itself... Uh, is atop a slight rise. Mm hmm And you can't really see it in this map, but uh, it's built against the roots of the pillar stone that supports Castle Ravenloft because the village of Barovia is at the edge of the cliffside. I think on this map it's actually reversed. <laughs> it should be church on the other side. Uh, the giant jagged cliff face and then the castle itself hits, is like right on the edge of jutting part of the cliff that looms over the village at all times. So, like you're looking up at it as it lords over you. You can't get to it from here, but it looms down on you from here. You have to travel quite far out of your way to get up there. Uh, it is a gray, sagging edifice of stone and wood. It has obviously weathered the assaults of evil for centuries on end and is worn and weary. A bell tower rises towards the back and flickering light shines through holes in the shingled roof. The rafters strain feebly against their load. The heavy wooden doors are covered with claw marks scarred by fire. You head in? Yeah, I yeah. said that she was just going to waltz in. The door is open to reveal a 10 foot wide, 20 foot long hall leading to a brightly lit chapel. The hall is unlit and reeks of mildew. Four doors, two on each side of the hall, lead to adjacent chambers. I'll switch the map in a minute. You can see that the chapel is strewn with debris, and you hear a soft voice from within reciting a prayer to Ezra. Suddenly, uh, the prayer is blotted out by an inhuman scream that rises up from beneath the wooden floor. I do oh, want God, to girl. specify that I was going in from the back of the church because she was not walking around to the front from the graveyard. Don't know if it has a back door. We're about to find out. 
Unless it was locked and then she had no choice. It does but... not. There is only a front door. Okay. Blind. So am I. We're on the blind. blind. Get your token until then. Uh... So I'm like, hello, and then hear the scream like, oh, good gracious. <laughs> Rest for the weary. You know. Hmm. I really blame you for this. <laughs> you Rude. can blame me for whatever you would like. If it eases your burdens. I just, it, with like an exasperated sigh, he just says <laughs> that. Like, <sighs> All right, you have tokens and vision now. Okay. Uh, and we see this guy? Well, that's the token. You don't see a guy. Okay. Because we have... I have bent this whole adventure. You see a priestess. Let's see if it lets me do this. It most certainly does. Praying at the altar. Check picture in Discord. Wise and, and green eyes, old face. Well weathered. Is she reacting to the inhuman scream? Hmm. The voice, her voice is hoarse and weak as if she has been praying for a long time. Like, non-stop. Mm -hmm. No. No reaction, though. <sighs> so clearly knows that something's happening. Um, Giselle walks up to the other side of the altar and kneels. Okay. Uh, the chapel itself is a shambles with overturned and broken pews littering the floor. Dozens of candles mounted in candlesticks and candelabras light every dusty corner in a fervent attempt to rid the chapel of all shadows. At the far end of the church sits a claw scarred altar behind which kneels the priestess in soiled vestments. Next to her hangs a long, thick rope stretches into the bell tower. As you kneel down next to her, the voice from beneath Chapel 4 cries out, Mother, I'm starving. Pardon me? Who is that? I say, addressing the old, lady, the old woman. Um, looks at you with the thousand-yard stare of a veteran. A long glance as if trying to accept whether you're actually there or not. Uh, and tells you, that is my daughter. She must stay down there until either Ezra heals her or I find a cure for her malady. Well, what is wrong with her? She was caught up by some fools from the village who thought they could storm the castle and destroy the Countess. She has come back cursed by the vile place. Hmm. Uh, Lord. I'm actually asking questions about this as if I care. Uh, I go sit down in one of the broken pews. <laughs> what type of curse is it exactly? The, the, the evil of that place has transformed her so that uh, she acts as if an animal. He makes the sign against the evil eye. He makes the sign of the blessing of but she makes the sign of the blessing of Ezra. How can I help you, priestess? Help me find a cure for her. Oh, I see you also worship Ezra. You could also help me pray. Ezra has already answered one of my prayers today. I think it would be unkind to ask for more. I wish he would answer. I wish she would answer my prayers. So I know we're going to get to it anyway, but exactly how could we help you? We would need to examine your daughter 
to know what befalls her to cure her. I can tell by your dress and mannerisms that you are not common folk like most of the village here, so I implore you, please help her. Please don't destroy her. I would be lost without her. Where uh, would we even begin finding a cure? Perhaps in the place that spawned her evil. Perhaps somewhere else in the land from those more wise than I, I do not know. Before we do that, the children from the household of insert last name, <laughs> where do they have a family crypt in the cemetery? You are muted. They do. And gives you directions to which crypt it is. Once I'm able to lay the children to rest, we can... At least I am offering my assistance. Well, thank you, sister. She then turns back to the altar and begins praying again. But before she does so, she says, If you can help her, anything I can do for you, anything you need that I can offer is yours. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, now, with proper directions, she'll go back outside and grab her shovel. Okay. She might not need it, but she's grabbing it anyway. Okay. You dip into your rations and have a quick lunch? Oh, yeah, that's probably smart. I yeah. Short rest? Yes. You may have the benefits of a short rest. And yes, you take them into the... It's a crypt, so you find two empty pallets, place the bodies on them, perform the ceremony rite, which means two hours will pass, one for the short rest and one hour for the ceremony, which is a ritual spell that allows you to properly lay the bodies to rest. With the blessing of the mind. At the end of the rite, you can feel the spirits pass from those of you that are possessed. And for that, you may all have the benefits of the blessed spell for 24 hours, meaning until the next afternoon, regardless of long rest. Um, and then I just want to make sure that the crypts um, are properly marked for each child um, some sort of notation to Thorn and Rose. Yep. Works for me. Um, and then um, Giselle at least just kind of like sits outside under a tree. <laughs> the blessed spell is essentially one bardic inspiration die for all of you in the next 24 hours 1d6 or 1d4 we're gonna call it a d6 because it was okay. a reward blessing okay. and that just helps us with it's bardic rolls. inspiration die you can add a d6 to any roll oh okay One time. cool thank you uh and short rest gives you your short rest benefits back and lets you choose if you wish to spend hit die to recover hit points um, we don't recover spells in a short rest, just a long rest, right? Uh, clerics do not, no, but you do recover. I better double check that before I say it. <laughs> I will also, check. Also, what about sorcerers? Uh, yeah, yeah Giselle does not work like a regular cleric, so hold on one second. Yeah, I think the only one that gets spell slots back might be the warlock. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, wizards get them too. Yeah, but warlocks get all their spells. All yeah. two of them. Wizards can, what, arcane recovery? Yeah. Get a couple back. Uh, oh, sorcery points are a long rest, so that doesn't help. Ambrose's character. Uh, my... No. Kismet dies also don't come back until a long rest. So... Though I do get my channel of divinity back. That's what I was looking up. You finish a short or long rest. Yeah, so you do get your my channel two... divinity use left and have two back. Uh, yeah, my two charges. So you have a 
sorcerer gets anything. Uh. They get the shaft. That's what they get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Sorcerers don't get anything special back on a short rest from their spells. Sorcerer drool. <laughs> I don't have to memorize my spells in the morning. It's correct. Yeah. I don't think anyone in this party does. I think you're all off spontaneous. Well, I, yeah, Devin's a warlock. Yep, you're all spontaneous casters. Uh, two seconds. Yep. What kind of sorcerer are you? Are you like dragon um, sorcerer or like chaos sorcerer? Phantasmal. Phantasmal? That's phantasmic. The tornado has passed. Yeru has returned to us. Yes, working on getting cameras because I unplugged all the things. One moment. Pass return. So, after the short rest and you choose or not choose to recover hit points, what do you do next? I wake up from my quick nap inside the church. Okay. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, where is your daughter so that we may examine her? She just keeps praying fervently away. You can make an educated guess that the yelling came from underneath, so... One of these doors? Mm-hmm. All right. You gonna go exploring while they're outside doing their thing? Yeah, I'll poke my head in there. Which one do you want to go through? That one? Okay. Yeah, that one. That room. Uh... There's an office. An old desk and chair stand against the south wall, a wooden holy symbol mounted above them. A ten-foot-long iron rod attached to the north wall stands bare, suggesting a tapestry once hung there. Against the far wall stands a wooden cabinet with four tall doors. The desk is empty. Uh, there's a poor box there that's also empty. There's I mean, some I'm not pens and all. ink and whatnot on the desk. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm not rooting around. I'm just looking for another door that might lead to a set nope, of not stairs. not that one. All right. Then I'm like, do, 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 wait. Where would you go next? That is a sleeping chamber. Okay. Oh, wait. There's another door that I can't see. I didn't see. That Lovely. is where you're trying to get to. Filthy. Um, uh, time and neglect have punched holes in the ceiling of this moldy room, which contains a few broken roof shingles amid puddles of water. In one corner... Set into the floor is a heavy wooden trap door held shut with a chain and padlock. A young woman's screams of anguish can be heard through the floor. It's about the time everyone else comes wandering inside. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Do you have the key to the lock? She keeps praying. Oh, hello, everyone. You feel like you should probably have Giselle talk to her. This woman is... Probably not entirely sane from grief and exhaustion. So, do you mind asking her? The, the trap door down to the basement's here, but it's locked. Yes. Wondering if she has the key. Hmm. Uh, Giselle goes back down to the kneeling position next to the um, old priestess. Um, we need the keys to assess your daughter. Please remember, she takes your hands as she puts the keys in them. Do not destroy her, I beg you. I will not destroy her. And she'll uh, walk over to where Silas is with the keys. And unlock them. Okay. Ah, it's over there. 
Does anyone not go down into the creepy undercroft with the screaming thing that's apparently cursed? Come Sounds on, like everyone. It's fun for the whole I, family. I, I, I don't know if I, I wish to go down there. What if uh, it's contagious oh. and she bites and... Well, oh, the David rabbit just... David is not exactly... Then don't go. Oh, but I, I can't leave you alone. You're my sister. Then go. Then come with but that. I don't want to get eaten. <clears throat> then don't go, David. But I don't here? want you to get eaten. I have Perhaps Silas. Perhaps we just leave her alone. I have Silas. I'm perfectly safe. I question Silas because I saw him eating the rat as we were escaping. Yes. David, if you don't want to be here, why are you here? Uh, because... Where else would I be? Apparently you'd rather be somewhere safe. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> well, um, you, uh, you, you scream bloody murder if you need anything. Are you staying upstairs? Yeah, he's going to chicken out and stay upstairs. Okay. Everyone else going down? Yep. Yep. You yeah. enter the Undercroft. The church's undercroft has rough-hewn walls and a floor made of damp clay and earth. Rotting wooden pillars strain under the weight of the wooden ceiling. Candlelight from the chapel above slips through the cracks, allowing you to glimpse a gaunt shape in the far corner. Oh, we probably should have asked what his, her daughter's name was. You can retcon that if you want. Please. The priestess would have told you that her daughter's name is Sashenka, but she calls her her dear Sash. It's a name that means protector. And she lived up to that name. She waited her whole life for an opportunity to take a stance, and with that crazy mob stirred up by that madman, attacked the castle and was cursed for it. She was the only one that returned alive. <clears throat> uh, as... Giselle gets to the bottom of the stairs. She kind of <clears throat> clears her throat. Sash, is that you in the corner? Uh, there's a noise of rattling chains, and I can smell your blood in a shaky voice. I hunger for it. Oh, I say. <laughs> okay. Do you approach as a group, or does Giselle just go up there by herself? The four of you. I'm going up. <laughs> I'm going to hold back, just because I feel like four people coming up on someone who says, I'm going to eat your blood. Also, am I in one piece? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. What about you, Fane? Yeah, I'm going to stay back. I have spells I can cast at a distance if this thing goes bad. Um, Make an insight check, Giselle. Hold on. Giselle makes it very clear to Fane and E.F. Aru, you are not to harm her, no matter what she does. Is that understood? Yeah, her makes this face. And, uh, just nods, sort of, sideways. And Fane <laughs> just looks at Giselle and says, Do you just want to die? No, but I take my promises very seriously. Insight check. Ooh. <clears throat> <laughs> what in the actual fuck, roll 20? You're fucking fired. And then roll 20 is not being kind to us tonight. No, not at all. I rolled my highest is a nine. The other role was in that one, in case you were wondering. Can I also make an insight check? Yes. A <laughs> 19? Out Rosie's dice. 19 tells you if you approach as a group, the thing is less likely to attack because it's feral. And feral things don't attack large groups. Yeah. 
If you approach in small numbers, she might attack and you might be forced to defend yourself. It's just that it might be best if all four of us approach. All right. Here, here, Fane, would you come up here? I say as we move closer. All right. Fane. Fane? I'm debating. Fane says, screw all of you guys, especially that lady with the red hair. She's fucking crazy. Well, if you want to stay there, Fane, it's... it's your prerogative. I'll, I'll make sure that, uh, you know, she doesn't escape. Yes, yes, keep David safe, I understand. Yes, I very much would like to be safe, thank you. You can't hear them. You chickened out. Uh, he sensed it in his soul, and he spoke it to the invisible friends. <laughs> the monstrous thing in the corner is actually the picture I just sent you in Discord. She cowers back from you. Stosh. What exactly happened to you in the castle. Oh. The Mad Major Baratok came and rallied the people of the village against the Countess. He convinced us that with his power we could take the Mad Woman down. We believed him. She was able to overcome even him. What happened to you, dear? She shudders and just starts sobbing going to need some kind of social check to... Uh, can I use persuasion mm -hmm. to speak with her? I mean, given my my backstory, my history, do I have a fair assumption of what's wrong with this woman? It's obvious once you see her. She's okay. a vampire spawn, but not like yeah. you all the way. I got a 20 on my persuasion check. Dirty 20. What do you say? You don't have to, You can paraphrase yeah. if you want, but... Yeah. Um, I just... It's it's okay. I understand. And with that, I show her my like. I let my fangs drop. I'm like, I under I understand the pain you're going through, and we will do what we can to help you. If you could just tell us a little bit more about what happened, and more about this countess. Ah, uh, Giselle. Yeah. I would like you to also make a persuasion check and tell me what you would say to bolster what does David, David Silas is saying. No. <laughs> oh, I, I, I literally just got out dice. dice. No, I, I know, but then I clicked the thing because I'm a dumbass. Hold on. Uh -huh, I rolled an 18 on Rosie's dice. Okay, what do you say? Which would mean that's a 22. Um... Um, though I can't, um, <laughs> I cannot sympathize with you like Silas can. However, all those who walk in the mist deserve a chance, and I'm willing to help you, as your mother has never given up. This is enough to convince her to tell you. Someone should take notes. Ah! Because sparing this woman means she's going to tell you her story, which will give you details about the grounds of Castle Ravenloft. Oh. Uh, who has pen and paper? Okay. Mayor, now One take, second! One second! Take, take good teacher notes, not Okay, Mayor I notes. think you <laughs> don't understand what teacher notes are. Uh, take good student notes? As if you're writing an IEP, maybe? Oh, yeah. I don't I don't write those. That's sped and they're goddesses and gods out there, and I am merely but the stem of the earth that teaches history. So okay. We well, take um, good historical notes then, so they, they can be discovered later. I'll um, have you read Hemingway? Like have you read any of like anything that any of them have actually done? Okay, okay, I'll do my best. Talking about a historian. Take not, like, mayor just... notes like it was like four o'clock fresh out of school. Not 
Okay, I'm, I'm, Should I'm I be taking take, the notes? Uh, can I have backup note takers? Because I love collaboration and we'll like collaborate in order to like get the best score on a group project. Okay, ready, go. I was like, how long are the notes going to take? Because we could just get a clip off of Twitch. <laughs> They're going to be longer than a minute. So yeah. they would have to be a highlight. But hey, all right, do your best. <sighs> I'm ready. Guys, don't sound so excited. This is, I'm the, you guys do realize I'm the person who made that wish and worded it the way I did. This is true. <laughs> Wait, should, should I, should I say it in a more eager way? Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Is that your Batman voice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Batman. No, this is notes. the voice that I can sound a lot deeper if I actually try. Oh, yeah. Choke me like you hate me, but you don't <laughs> hate me. <laughs> yep, that would be Ambrose's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah. Okay. clears throat> I'm Batman. No. <laughs> you just hand me the Ravenloft book. You know. <laughs> okay, it's fine. All right, we're good. <laughs> Well, once they managed to make it past the bridge, which was defended by invisible shadows, they swear they could fly. Many of their numbers of the mob were picked off before they could even cross the bridge up onto the crag itself. Once they made it to the crag under the grounds, then the front courtyard the fog was as thick as anywhere around the borders of this land of Barovia. A thunderstorm followed them in as if it was chasing them to their doom. The entrance to the castle itself was locked by a high gate with uh, thick steel, of course. One of the windows above the gate was broken, but none of them were able to climb up to it strange as if it was left broken on purpose a very high parapet broken from the inside very dangerous someone could fall to their death from there each outer gate tower has iron bound covers with built in locks the, the commoners st stood no chance of getting inside and were slaughtered by the crenellations and the uh, murder slits the arrows once they were all crowded into the courtyard itself Surrounded on all sides by enemies. Uh, the Countess herself never even graced them with her presence. Her second in command did, though. He rode out from the stables on the other side of the gate on a horse whose hooves were made of fire and eyes were flaming. Rahadid is his name. He was calm and collected as he slaughtered them all, to a man, to a woman, except for her, like a frenzying whirlwind, like a dervish single-handedly, without even becoming out of breath. The Countess came out at the end, when there were but three left, and he was slaughtering the last two and told him to stay his hand for her. So he left her there. And the Countess came up and told her, you tell your mother and you tell everyone else in the village this is what happens when you try to rise up against me. As the courtyard was flooded by those who had been slaughtering them, vampires every one at least two score of them and she turned to me and told me to go home and fill it a feed on the village to rampage like the monster i'd become i blacked out and woke up in this basement where i've been ever since feeding on rats and mice none can stand against the monster in that castle starts crying again at that point. I think I did it. <laughs> I got the horse's name. <laughs> the rider's name is Rahadi, not the horse. 
Oh, okay, hold on. Countess Von Zerovich's second in command is Rahadine. Oh, okay, his name's not Rahadid. R A H A D I N. R A H A D I N. Okay. Slaughtered two score villagers without yep. running out of breath, without tiring, and without remorse or emotion. No pity, okay. no regret. Just a Countess machine of death. So he yeah. was not a vampire. Not vamp. Cool. At least not the broken. Broken window pushed from the outside. No one fell from here for sure. Um, totally not. Totally not. Invisible things that fly at the bridge. There's a crag before you get to the ground. And there's courtyard fog. I can actually show you that because from... You missed that, Meredith. From the church in Barovia, the church is built against one of the pillar stones that holds the castle up on a massive cliff. And then you exit mm -hmm. the village and take a long route through the woods and up a very long rise to the crag. But it oh, so that's the, the crag. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I can actually show Check you. Check my what notes it looks in like. Discord. So this is what it would look like from the village of Barovia in the Discord. Uh, ooh. And you can see that part on the left. That's the bridge. Oh, I see. That's the bridge that they're talking about. Okay. Yes. And you could get a rough idea of the outside from her description of the courtyard, which would be this. Okay. Sweet. Here's a more obvious view of what she means by the bridge with invisible flying things. Oh, nice. Okay, I think between mine and Ambrose's, we should have stuff. Ah, uh, you all know, at least in this moment right now, none of you have the cure for vampirism. It doesn't mean there isn't one. There are lots of myths and legends. Somebody can roll history or arcana. I'll roll one of those. I I know those things. I don't have either of those trained. I just have religion. religion. Uh, oh, with my plus two? Because I've been rolling so well. God. What's the other days. thing we can roll? What can we roll? If I if I fail history, can I roll Arcana? History, Arcana, or religion? Yes, you can. All right. Let's... I'll if, roll and... religion. I got, a, I got an eighteen Arcana. Nope, I... that's a no for religion. I got a 12 religion. It was six history. Six Does it have to be trained? It's int, and you put int as my dump set. Can anybody roll history? I tried uh, and failed horribly. I tried and failed trained. also. Arcana. So I am trained, which is why it's a two and not a zero. Yeah, nope. I'm trained, and that's why mine is a four and not a two. As I went through my mental historical Rolodex, I came up with the fact that vampirism actually does not exist, but then Arcana said it does. Silas, you got a, <laughs> Silas, you got a boost. Wait. Uh, but 18, I'm happy with my 18. 18 will tell you that there are rumors that the spawn of a vampire, if they do not become full-fledged vampires themselves first, the curse will be broken if the one that spawned them is destroyed. Yes. What happens if you bite a vampire? I can I can tell you if you really want to know. Well, like, <laughs> I would think... Vampire would... says, ow, would you do that for? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just thinking, like, because if a vampire biting a human turns them into a vampire, then maybe a human biting a vampire turns them into a human. In D&D, &D, nothing. In World of Darkness, it makes you a ghoul. <laughs> this is fair. Yep. What if a half, half vampire bites a full vampire... Then you I let you go human. full vampire because that amuses me. Nice. <laughs> uh, now I'm debating do I bite this woman, but now. The trigger that would make her transform is she must willfully and of her own volition drain another human dry. When she's no longer spawned. 
of her own volition does it. She could be in a frenzy of hunger, but like you can't force it down her throat. She has to be the one to initiate the drinking and continue until said human dies. So if you can stop that from happening from her until you can find a way to destroy this countess, apparently. That, that seems to everyone believes is a vampire. Also, you'll notice no one says her name. Not once have they said her name. Just the countess. Just or interesting. The devil. the devil, the countess, her, the monster in the castle. It's like they're intentionally avoiding it. What like are the she who must not be. You're free to ask whatever bottles? questions you want, by the way. Go ahead, Silas. I want to take one of my empty hot sauce bottles and with my dagger, I will poke. Actually, I'll just use my fangs. I just bite and drain some a, a little bit of my blood into it and hand it to her. She snatches it from you and consumes it like she has never eaten before, which is probably true. Her whole body shudders. Color returns to her cheeks. I cannot bear more, I'm sorry. You taste much better than a rat. Thank you. Out of character question. Sure. If she drank from a cleric, does that count as, like, blessed liquids? And would she, like, melt? I don't know. Want to find out? Yes. No. Do you want to feed her Giselle? No, no, I figured Giselle could just feed. do what you did with the... The feed's not in there. This is Ambrose. I'm just going to give her a shot glass of everyone in the room? No. Yeah. <laughs> Out of character, your only chance of curing her is to kill yeah. the Countess. It's almost like that's how the game was written. Mm-hmm. You're free to ask her any other questions you want. Since you've chosen not to destroy her, she and her mother will be helpful to you. And they know a lot about Barovia, if nothing else. <laughs> um, I, I don't know of any questions to ask. Uh, insight know. checks will get hints if you want them. Otherwise, I would you can love to do to that. Save her and move on. Okay. I would love to do that. I got a twenty-one on my insight check. <laughs> Why the hell is the entire church wrecked and covered in claw marks? This lady has no claws. Hey, there's claws. I rolled a two. <laughs> I rolled an eighteen. Uh, a two. I... Got a nice bed. I'm really tired. <laughs> I did notice that nice bed. Um, Nine. You could ask why no one says the name for the person who rolled a 20. Hey, why did rolled you a nine. How do you get splinters out of your ass? Because I sat on splinters. Um, excuse me, can someone help me? Uh, I, I need some uh, assistance. Assistance. Hey, hey. Um, any, I rolled an 18. You know, this subject is really just a tabletop obscura. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Thank you for the raid. It was you I was referring to. I thought you rolled a 20 when I said... I, I rolled a 21. It was me. I'm smart. You were the one that I was referring to when you said you should ask about the claw marks. Giselle is... You should ask why they don't use her name. Okay, I should ask about the claw marks. Uh, I would ask about the claw marks. <laughs> uh, and these are the claw marks. They're inside of this room, correct? No. They're all over the outside of the church, and the church itself is wrecked on the inside, like something went through here and smashed the place. Oh. Uh, so, Yahuru yeah, would, uh, you know, mention, I, I noticed as we walked in um, that there was, there were markings of that. Was that from, what was that from? Was that from you and the, the those who were ordered to be here? The Countess's minions, the creatures of the night, the wolves, rats and the bats came for the boy we were hiding him here to protect him it was the last bastion but they breached this holy place and drug him away the boy 
Uh, did I miss that, that part too? Uh, okay, all right. I was just making sure that I didn't. Yeah. If you scroll up in the Discord, you'll see a PDF that says "Letter on Dead Body." That's what they're talking about. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. After you roll past the spicy gifts, yeah. that's what I'm. I'm doing. I'm. I'm. It's like spicy, spicy, crazy woman, bloody woman, spicy castle, wolf. Questionable gif at the end. Mm -hmm. Giselle. What happens? You ask your question. Yes. If we call her by her name, she can see us from anywhere in the land. She will know where you were at and what you were saying. And be able to see you as if standing in the room with you. Noted. We won't be doing that. Unless you want to call her for some reason of madness. I have no desire to. Oh, you mean like this? Just kidding. Just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. And that's how Iaharu gets shrinked. Uh, <laughs> I got a Iaharu forbidden doesn't tone. know the name yet. Since no oh, one has said it, mean... you don't know the name. Does anyone have a uh, piece of parchment and, a, and some ink? Perhaps they could write it down for us. We should. We just shouldn't know it. <laughs> if we need it, we can ask then. But they still won't say it. Then we can ask for a pen and piece of paper then. Hmm. I'd rather yeah. not tempt fate, especially with my brother. This is true. And he's not even here to know that I insulted him. You head back upstairs. DM note, you've got what you can out of her. Unless you okay. have your own clever questions as players. <laughs> clever. You can't funny. relate. <laughs> also, for those uh, spending channel points for bad things to happen, don't worry, they will next week. Well, in two weeks. You return to the top of the church. Do you speak to the priestess? Yes. She thanks you for sparing her daughter. Is eternally grateful that you're at least willing to try to help her. She says you can stay here anytime you want. Use the rooms. Drag some more beds in if you want. Convert the broken pews, whatever you need to do. This is hollowed ground. The creatures of the night did break in, but it doesn't stop it from being blessed. Um, I also double check that we locked the door behind us to, <laughs> to the basement. Okay. <clears throat> And then I return the keys to her. Um, she also tells you you may be aided in your quest if you go and visit those of your blood. Mostly talking to David. There's a camp of Vistani outside of the village. Noted. I would be glad to visit some family. Miss Walkers can help you. They also own a tavern that has excellent wine. Blood on the vine. It's the one you were in when you started this. Yes, quite a lovely place. Well, are we going to stay here? Or to head back to the, the inn? Um, we could stay here tonight, but, I mean, the day's not over. No. But uh, from what I saw, it doesn't seem like this town has a lot to offer. It's a good time for a long rest, though. Yes. Uh, I will set up a room uh, for two beds for Ia Haru and myself. And then the boys can figure out what they're doing. The priestess will only stay in the chapel, so the four rooms are available three rooms if you don't want to sleep in the room with the trapdoor. I mean, the one with the bed in it was really nice. Yeah, and you can make beds out of the broken detritus laying around. But I'll leave that for Giselle and Iahuru. You can essentially put two of you in each of those rooms, so there's plenty of space. Okay. All right. uh, I would like to have Silas head back to the Blood on the Vine just to get some actual food. 
and not just rations. Okay. And bring it back for people. Okay. Uh, next time we assemble, we may do a retcon of what happened in the Blood on the Vine, but for now that works. Okay. I'm being nice. It feels icky. Does Fane <laughs> <laughs> and David do anything special before collapsing from exhaustion? It has been two entire days since you took a long rest. Oh no. David's going to totally collapse from exhaustion. Fane? We've lost Fane. He does something. Yes. While he does the thing, I believe there is a scene that needs to happen between Giselle and Iharu. He does a uh -oh. jig. He does a jig, yes. Uh, Giselle gets ready for bed, as she normally does. Um, and takes, um, takes off her mask, like she would, uh, with Ia Haru, because she's the only one that's allowed to see her face. <laughs> As it is. Is this the moment where I point at your face? I don't know. That would require the GM to narrate something. It is Ia Haru. She takes off the mask and it is completely healed and as gorgeous as the day she was conceived. I don't know. Maimed? Made. Born. I said um day before she was maimed? Yes. Yeah, uh, so Yaharu would uh, see her as she takes off her mask and just go, Giselle. What? Your face. Did it, it get worse? N no. And is there any sort of like silver or mirror or anything in the room? Yes, you can find a reflective surface. Look. Yeah, this is what happens when I put the wig under the mask underneath my wig. I can't take it off. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. And, and Yaharu is looking through drawers to find anything that would be a mirror. And I'm certain she finds uh, a mirror for flavor. Let's say that it's kind of cracked. But it's cracked on like the side that would have been nice so that it's fully revealed on the side that is uh that is fully fixed. What? So I for flavor, like you know, the side that was already revealed in your mask mm -hmm. has it, it, like the, the mirror I find has cracks on it, but then the side where there would have been <laughs> all of it is perfectly shiny and, and clear so that you can see it. Huh. Part of your blessing of Ezra apparently was the restoration of your face. How did it happen? I would assume when I took the blessing of Ezra to aid everyone when we were down in the basement, I told her that I would accept her terms in exchange. This has Yahoo's little uh, flags flying in the air. <laughs> so you s just to make this to make sure I'm understanding this you spoke to someone and made an agreement with them. I spoke to my god. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just someone. Yeah, so there's deities all over. I had a deity. You, you were a deity there, yeah, Haru. She... Yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she prayed, there was divine light in the room, and it banished a demon and healed you all. This is true. This is true. That Mentally. Means Haru is up to you. Oh, Apparently, well, part of that healing was hidden under the mask. Uh, and okay. if any of the rest of you, only no one knows yet, but yeah, Haru, if you do check your body, it is scar free now. Any oh, previous cool. damage, any long-term diseases, any curses, except half vampirism, are gone from all of you. Wow. It was like a ninth-level healing spell. Yes, it was. It's pretty great. I take offense to the half vampirism oh. being a curse. It's good thing you weren't sir. there then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was from that was words from 
That was you, words from God. You know what parts of it? You know what part of it's the curse, right, Silas? The half part. The human part. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Um. Yeah. Wow. I don't know how I feel. Well, certainly, eyesight might be a little bit better. One less thing to handle in the morning. True. I just. It's been many years since I haven't had had it, had this mask. And well, I mean, that's a high honor receiving that from your deity in specific. Many within very many, what's the word? Uh, many vested, many vested folks would only dream of such a thing. True. I know. People of the cloth, that's what I meant. All right, sorry. Right. <laughs> it came to me. Um, I know the priestess out there wishes Ezra would answer her prayers and fix her daughter. Well, perhaps, as he seems to have found favor in you and your deal, then. Perhaps the effects could extend over time, particularly to those here that we're helping. Perhaps I want to leave some place better than we found it one day. Still intact and not erased. Yeah, Haru makes a bit of a glint a little <laughs> little tiny squint <laughs> at the wording for that. <laughs> well, you must be exhausted. <laughs> you must be tired. How about I help you out with this pillow? Yeah. <laughs> Just sleep. <laughs> and as you all drift off to sleep, every single one of you has very vivid, very intense dreams that we will roleplay next time we return to Ravenloft. Is it intense like lettuce? Is more intense than romaine lettuce. Damn. Huh? <laughs> You'll it's hear a hear out later. Yes, it's an inside family joke. Uh. As something speaks to each and every one of you in your dreams, something or someone different. Except for Giselle, who has a very strange dream. The most beautiful woman she's ever seen. But we'll reconvene with that in two weeks. Because that's all we have time for this session. <laughs> the same joke was made in two different places as tonight's chapter comes to a close and we prepare to return to brighter shores we hope you return in two weeks to continue this tale with us but until then there are many other fine adventures the cast and crew of Opal Tales can provide you with on Mondays of course you can experience the Curse of Strahd or Curse of Sonia at 7pm except next week we're on hiatus as your GM is not available we may have a fill-in, though, so stay tuned. There may be a cool 5v1 shot. We'll get back to you about that. And then two weeks after that, as normal on Mondays, we return to Curse of Sonia, followed by uh, Delta Green, The Watchers, at 11 p.m. Stay tuned for that in about an hour. You'll be able to catch defeat there. On Tuesdays, we have, uh, right now, the Fearless Leader. Uh... I skipped a whole day to Wednesday. Go me. On Tuesdays, we have Dark Sun, The Road to Yurik at 8 p.m. Come check it out. On Wednesdays, the Fearless Leader is out of town, so we are doing a fun three-shot of G.I. Joe called Pork Chop Sandwiches, G.I. Joe the RPG by Renegade. On Thursdays, we have... Is it? Is it two or three? Two. Two-shot. <laughs> On Thursdays... Uh, while Fearless Leader is out of town, Silas here is going to be running a cool 5e, also two shot, three shot. Uh, two, part two, coming up. About red dragons, it should be a good time, the rise of Pyrocyth. And then on Wednesdays when Fearless Leader returns, they will be, of course, playing uh, Defenders of Tomorrow, Mutants and Masterminds uh, three. On Thursdays, Starfinder, uh, Junker's Paradise, on Fridays, come check out Masks of Gnarly Thotep, although I believe this week is also a cool one-shot by the ever... Uh, 
versatile Silas. Tell us about that a little bit. I heard some cool things. Uh, yeah, so what I've got planned so far is that the group will be playing a group of police special forces operatives who are sent to investigate disappearances within a town. Um, and then they find out, oops, cultists. So what they think are going to be random disappearances is actually going to be a strange cult. I'm kind of doing a Resident Evil meets Call of Cthulhu. Sounds kind of awesome. I did, and I'm so sad that I can't play. I know, and I got very excited about that, and then you <laughs> snatched it away from me just as quickly as you said, hey. I'd be there with you too, but unfortunately, Big Dad Industries owns me on Fridays for a while. Uh, very sad. A, a Big Dad and his industries. <laughs> uh, normally on Fridays, you can experience the masks of Gnarly Thotep. They're about to begin the Egypt chapter. Followed by, uh, they came from Camp Murder Lake. Summer's been axed at 11 p.m. Uh, I hear it's hard to spell Langen Camp. <clears throat> on Saturday at 7 p.m. <laughs> On Saturday at 7 p.m., the cool three-shot, uh, they're, they're two and two now, run by Birdie of Pathfinder. What's Birdie calling it? Do you remember? Blue Moon something? Oh, Blue yeah, Moon. hold on. I can tell you. I can tell you. Uh, it is Blue Moon. Blue Moon. <laughs> yes, uh, and it is awesome. For the two Saturdays, I am out due to graduation at other events. Uh, and then we will return to uh, Reign of Winter, converted to 2E. And then Cult Divinity Lost will return in two weeks also, with no fill-in until then. At 11 p.m. on Sundays, Mage the Ascension, Fast Station Regenerated at 9, which will also return in two weeks. This week there will be a one-shot. It's a surprise, though. You'll have to show up to see what it is. Uh, might be Bir it. Birdie's four-shot is called the Ballad, Ballad of the Blue of the Moon. Blue. Ballad, Ballad of the yes. Blue Moon. Ballad of the Blue Moon. Come check them all out. You can find me next running uh, Dark Sun Road to Europe tomorrow, and on Friday you can come watch me play on Big Dad Industries playing Technocracy Reloaded. Fearless adventurers, doomed citizens of Ravenloft, tell everyone where you can be found next on our channel and cool things you do away from horrible tales. Everybody, I've enjoyed playing David de Zaravan for you. I now return to being Ambrose for a little while until I am Ilya in Delta Green. A sexy voiced, sexy accented agent. Pilot. Extraordinary. Anyway, you can find me all over the internet as Am Changeling, and you can find me on Etsy at Thornkind. And you can find me soon in Delta Green. Is, is Devin not hearing? I don't <laughs> think he is. I, I think, think his stuff is crashed for good. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. Mayor. So in that case, my name is Mayor. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Oh Hello Mayor. And uh, the next time you'll see me will be on my own channel, Oh Hello Mayor, uh, this weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, time's yet to be determined. Maybe even a sneaky stream this week. We'll see what's up. So see you then. Sneaky streams. All right, yeah. you. Uh, hey, oh God, uh, mind blank. I am Twin Dead. Twin Dead tweets on the Bird app. Uh, you can catch me next on Fourfold Tales on Wednesday for GI Joe Pork Chop Sandwiches, and then followed by Thursday Night Rise of Pyrescythe Part Two, where the group has made it to the outskirts of the village, and more hilarity will ensue thanks to Spank My Betty. Uh, and hello, I am Savannah. You can find me online as Miss Miss Emo Fox. You can find me tomorrow for Dark Sun Road to Uruk, where we are currently deep in the iron mines. Uh, and then I think that's it for me until next week, because I will be on a little mini vacation for myself. And with that, we leave you to your nightmares. Until next time, have a good night.